hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel on this video I'm gonna uh, show you how we can use the uh, uh, sheet JS in react dot, uh, in react applications and read the Excel file so let's begin so I have the my react application which is running on localhost 3000 here and this is my uh, project here called a react tool and i'm installed i installed this project using the uh, react cli so the first thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab the uh, css for a bootstrap and i'm gonna add it here just to uh, make the little better i mean the css stuff right so once i have it here okay so once i have it here now in this is my app.js file and app.js file has nothing but it just have this the template that is coming with it which is this one so now my next step was to uh, install the packages and let me see i have a Re axios react dome script but i don't have this package so i need to install this seed.js and they have also the uh, they have also the pro version uh professional editions and also they do have uh they do have the a uh, community version which is a uh, sheet js uh dash x l s x so once i click it here it goes back to here but this is the community version if I search for with this, search with this and npm, then this is the community version. We also offer a pre, they also offer a pro version for a perform and, and enhancement functionality. But we could use this for a community version. So I will install this community version on my React application by installing npm ixlsx. So I I can install this package so while in, while it's installing the package I will go in my react applications which is here right and I'm gonna go in my app.js file and I'm gonna remove the header and I'm just gonna put a test here and it's gonna refresh and test is here which is okay so I will make this minimize so my X uh, the package has been installed already so which is good so now I'll just scroll down and here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna also remove this class I don't need this class so now I don't have anything so the first thing is I need to put create an input field here and my input is the type is going to be a file because I want to read the Excel file okay so that's all so whenever this on change then I need to trigger a function here so whenever it's trigger then I need to trigger a function so I'll create one function call on uh, read Excel function and this will take the the file and I will get the file on event.target.files and files uh, there are multiple files but I, I, I want only the first one so which is a zero so now it's it's looking for this react excel function which I will define it here so I will define as a constant here and this will give me the file here so once I get the file so now the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a promise right new promise P R O M I C promise and promise will take the uh, reject so resolve first and reject reject and it will return you a function here the callback and on inside this promise now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the file okay so I will create the new file here and this is going to be a file reader okay so basically just just reading a JavaScript uh, I'm just using a JavaScript file reader here so that is going to be a file reader and the file reader is going to be read as it's going to read as uh, array buffer and array buffer now need a file so I'll provide the file so now it, it does read the file and when it's read is been done or when it, when the file reader is on load it will return or 
another function and inside this e we could able to get the results so on e we will get the results and that's going to be our array buffer so it's going to be buffer array and e dot target the results we will get that and once we get that now we need to use the uh, the library we uh, put in our packages and library is xlsx from xlxsx all right so once i import this library uh, now i could use the, uh, the classes which is defined inside the uh, library so the first thing is is this is going to be a workbook and I'm, I will get a workbook using this function and there is a function called read and on read there are multiple ways to read it but I'm sending a buffer array so I will use as a buffer array and I also need to provide what type it is going to be and it is going to be a buffer okay so once I get the workbook now I also need to get the uh, I also need to tell which of the worksheet I want to read there could be a multiple worksheet so to do that the first thing is I will get the sheet name which is my the first one and here in Excel I'm going to open the Excel file as well I'm going to show you my Excel file so this is my item and the sheet I have currently was items so I want to read the items so that's why I told that I want to get the current one which is items the first one array so once I tell the I want the first one now the next step was to tell the uh, workbook that I want to read the uh, first one which is I store in WS name so once I store that now now once I store I could able to get a data using XLSX has a utility class on utility class there is a function called sheet to uh, to JSON all right JSON and in a JSON we could provide worksheet and after that I could able to get a data here so once I get a data I'm using a promise so I will send as a resolve okay so if the file reader has something wrong I will put it here a little bit if the file reader has something wrong going on an error then it's going to return or error as well error error and I will just uh, throw an error here right and it's going to be a reject it's going to be a reject and reject is going to be on error okay so I have this now which is good so I already do I already done this so once every I wrote this promise now I could able to get the data so promise dot then then I could able to get a data here so let's print it on console log here okay okay let's see that I let's see that it's gonna work or not uh, so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first I'm gonna little cancel here you move a little bit here I'm gonna pick this and I'm gonna pick the output oops I didn't open open the uh, console here so here it is guys it's on line number 32 It's printing all this my array and this is everything is coming from my excel if i open my excel it's going to start from 2 to i mean it's going to have 17 and i have a 15 uh, i have a 16 row here length is 16. Uh, of course it's not going to read the first header because it already has the headers on on his uh, property here on the object so now once I have this now I could bind this using a state here so it's going to be a use state and use state going to be Excel data or item it's item data so I'll just write here item uh, okay items uh, items 
so once I have this this is an initial state it should be a empty array once it's been received the data then I will put it on D and once I have this then I will create the uh, the table and I'll copy this table and put it here and on this table uh, I know what so the uh, it's going to print so first is item item and second is description and I'm just gonna put the item and description for now but uh, you can print anything what's been re uh, uh, what's been uh, reading so on, on a row what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do here it's our item data item is our my uh, item is my uh, hold on I want to check what my state name is yeah it is item so item is my state name item the map and I'm gonna print it here so here I need this row here and on a row of course uh, it need a key so d dot so d dot uh, let's assume that i have a, all uh, my items are different d dot key and i'm going to put this as d dot item and this is going to be d dot description i don't want to do scope i'm going to remove this and save so now I will go back to my React application. So it says that use state is not defined because I need to import my use state. I'll import it here and React. Once it's been import, now I can see my here and here item and description. And I'll just put the output and here we go guys. This is my item here and this is my description. Okay, just to look a little better, maybe I could also add the container here so okay so now if i pick this and here we go this is my item and description which is reading from my excel file so here is excel file and it's reading from c2518 s6 and if i go in bottom then hrm gamma is here so that's all guys i'm gonna put this code in a github as well and i hope you guys learn something new and please do not forget to like and subscribe my channel and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now